Welcome back to Spotlight over the city. Y'all having a good time? Woo! Man, 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 man. Y'all ready for our next guest? We got some amazing folks up here. These two young ladies are so dope. Um, man, it's, it's near and dear to my heart because this is my lane. This is something that I love, filmmaking and anything film. Anything about a film, the process of the whole thing from A to Z, I love it. It's not work. It's entertainment for me. It's, it's a pleasure. It's art. And so to have these two amazing young ladies up here, it's a beautiful situation. Um, the hard work and dedication that they put into this project is soon to be seen on Saturday, right? Yes. And um, so without further ado, I'm going to let T-Bomb introduce these two dynamic sisters. Yes. Thank you so much for that. I am very, very excited about this. Like Stan said, black filmmakers, um, I'm reading the car, black filmmakers are really taking over, and I am here for it, okay? They I'm are. loving everything that you all are doing. These next two guests, they are part of the reason that we've got this new watch party coming up on Saturday. Hey. Okay? Hey. They are they are part of part of the hit suspense thriller movie called Bad Deals. Bad and deals. they done pulled up on us today so that they can tell us about Bad Deals bad and also deals. the watch party that's going on Ooh. on Saturday, okay? That's so right. you all put your hands together for Shanetta Malkia and Sabia Aga. Hey. We left off some titles though. Hey, we gotta give some titles. So. They're gonna they gonna give us right, those so. titles. Let us know who they are. Okay, and I how, love it, I love it, I love it. So who that wants to play? start? You wanna start first, Miss? Yes, yeah, so Thank you, first of all, fam, for bringing us back. I'm Dr. Shanetta Malkia. I am the executive producer and one of the creators of Bad Deals. Um, so myself, Sabia Agard, and Taz Garcia, our director, all three of us came up with this film. And this film is really unique because most of the times you hear about productions taking 30 days, six months, a year to film a project. How long have you been working on film? It took us about what? I mean, y'all filmed it well, in 10 days, but y'all did that in like eight. So we, so we filmed Bad Deals in seven, in Jacksonville, seven Florida. Seven days. Seven days. And wrapped it up in Baltimore, Maryland. So that's Bad I Deals love it. Y'all can give it up for that. Let's <laughs> give it up for that. Hard work and dedication, baby. And it wasn't, it's not, a, it's not a project that was all the way thought out. It was a project that came because I had an opportunity to do another speaking engagement in Florida. And Taz made the call, was like, Net, let's shoot a movie. I said, we're going to shoot it in five days because we only down in Florida for four. So that we shot four days down in Florida and we flew back to Baltimore and filmed the rest here. I and said, so, let's make it happen. I so wait, I, so this is okay. what I love. Wait, wait. Listen. So the agenda wasn't to film no, originally. No, it wasn't. So I, I'm, I'm a real estate broker. I trained and I coach individuals in property management. So I was speaking in, I was booked to speak in Florida for a conference. So this was about real estate. This is about real estate. And then the next thing you know, bad deals was popping off. <laughs> I love that though. And so that's super dope. So I want, what say you? I want you to add, first of all, give your title with your name and let them know what position you play in the film and then let them know, uh, you know, your, 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 all of that. I got give them you. That. Um, Sabia Darling. I am the lead in Bad Deals. I'm also one of the executive producers. I'm also an artist that's going to be performing on Saturday. Yay! Hey. Okay. I like yes. it. So, so that's pretty cool. I love yeah. it. And so I think it's so how so your vision, you brought the vision to her. Is that how they Taz made the call? No. So Taz was here so, earlier, our okay. director. So Taz Garcia, shout out to Taz. Oh, he left. Uh, yeah. He had to go. Um, okay. Taz stayed busy. He stayed working on productions. But Taz called me two days before it was time for us to fly out. Gotcha. And was like, let's shoot a movie. So I was like, okay, let me talk to Sabia, because Sabia is one of our newest PMs, and she's one of I our newest working. agents. <laughs> it was my first conference, too. So I was like, what? A movie and a conference? What am I supposed to be what? doing? So wait, that was your first? <laughs> that was my first conference as a PM, yeah. And so it's, <laughs> and so when he when the movie idea came to you, you was just thinking conference. Yes. And so then here come this big old pivot because that's more than a pivot. <laughs> it's one thing to pivot, but we the pivot to a whole movie situation is a little different. So how did you how did you guys pivot that big to to have the cameras because now you're not local. Yeah. So now you need a camera crew, yep. a gaffer, a this, a dad, a yep. AD, but all of this production. How did this come about? So what I would say is that you have more tools within your toolbox, within your immediate circle than you think. Taz has been producing and directing for a long time. I have been on the creative side and more the business side, on the actor side, and then coming into producing our first film. 
mm -hmm. our first short film. It was like, okay, let's make it happen. So as an executive producer, people say, what does it take to be an executive producer? One, you front the bill. Mm -hmm. So this wasn't any gathering money. This was paid in full from the gate. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. So, so is this your first actual... EP, like this is your first time so, being an EP? No, so this is my second time being an EP. So on Give Me the Loot, you know, our first That's film. Right, we're also, me. this is a dual screening that we're doing this Saturday. So you okay. get Bad Deals and, and Give, me, give the me the Loot. So I'm an executive what? producer. That was the first film that I was the EP on. And okay. this uh, Bad Deals is the first film that we actually created together. I EP'd it. And we've pushed everything else. And now it's going to hit film festivals before we look at the next moves. Yeah. So y'all give it up for that. So y'all put your hands together because... You have to appreciate the work That's ethic, so and you have to appreciate That's the tenacity really and all the things, because if you're not a filmmaker, just, just be clear, it takes a lot to make a film. Yeah. It takes a lot, and it takes a team, and it takes a, a um, you have to have tenacity, because you're going to re reach some snags and some roadblocks and stuff like that, so to be able to do it on the cuff. Yeah, we did yes. it. I mean, we did That's it in dope. four days in Jacksonville, Florida. Shout out to Jacksonville, Florida. We were at the Amio, um, Amio Island Resort out there. Yes. Service was crazy. Um, shout out to Taz. Sabia was doing lighting. She was doing grip work. I was doing <laughs> grip work. We literally were writing this script wow. as we were filming. So we landed in Florida. It was like, oh, this is the shot right here. Let's get the footage in the, in the airport flying out. It literally now. was a three-man band. Yeah, it was a three-man crew. and all. <laughs> this, we did this. And so wow. we came back here, like pulled this. our producer. And what we're touching on in Bad Deals, and this is very important, because you see the situation with Diddy right now, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We already know that women have experienced a tremendous harassment and inconsistency and respect in regard to sexual um, allegations and abuse in this music industry. Mm -hmm. We tapping into it. We know that black women, when we go missing, they don't give us no attention, right? We don't have the money to get the media attention, right? We don't have people that are looking for us on a regular basis, or people feel like whatever we did, we deserve that, right? Right. So we're going to tap into that. But then we're also going to tap into one of the biggest things. How many of y'all travel alone? I travel alone. I travel alone a lot because I'm not waiting for nobody. I'm on the move. I know that's I like right. That. So we're going to touch into three areas, but we also want to bring you a story that's actually powerful. So I really need y'all to pull up this Saturday from 5 to 10 because we can really tell the truth. And now you're again going to get Give Me The Loot and Bad Deals, and it's going to be lit. And we're on a 360 oh, rooftop. It, we showing all. Yes, we showing wait, wait. all. Don't, 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 okay. don't slide past the 360 rooftop. Make sure y'all understand black excellence. Period. Right? And so just come out and represent and, and, and be a, a part of this movement because I believe in these people. They've done some amazing things. They've proven themselves. Um, just the work ethic alone shows you um, that they won't be denied. Um, two movies premiering is dope. Never heard of it before. Um, so that just shows you how hard they're working. So Saturday, 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 make sure you pull up. Go online. Where can they get tickets? So you can get tickets at Eventbrite. I really want you to really pull up because not only are we giving you this experience, it's the ambience. You seen the video? Oh, girl. Baby. Did not. Baby. Y'all seen the video. See? So I want so you to y'all. I'm saying. We already here. I'm, <laughs> trying, to get them. I'm already knowing. And we're going to be there and Allure going to be there too. Allure so, yeah, we're going to have Allure on deck. Make sure you guys pull deck. up. We got artists. This Sabia young lady, is performing. This so young lady is performing. I might know her. I don't know. Yeah, you, you, she, she's checking her out. So you're going to meet Sabia on Saturday. You're going to meet some amazing... Thank you to Shaka, because he's in the building. I talked to Shaka while we was um, doing this process. Like, Shaka, how we go about this. So shout out to everybody that has sewn into us in regard to um, education, the business move, because this is our first full project that we're taking to the next level. And you don't have to wait. A lot of actresses, a lot of actors are waiting for somebody to put them on. We create in our own lanes. Put yourself And that's on. how we coming. Yeah, no, that's right. She said, "That's how we coming." <laughs> so, Period. But see, this is see. So y'all see how undeniable this energy is. Like, so if you t connected to her, they gonna do it. And so you had no choice when when you and her connected. It was on. Like, and she seems to be that same spirit to where you know. She's not going to let you go out there by yourself. The moment you come to her, she's going to jump right in there. She was ready. Tell them about Joy. Joy is, is sweet. Joy is definitely not me. <laughs> but I, I, I well, wait, wait. Joy is a character in the movie. She so is Joy, a character that's, that's in the movie. Okay. She's the lead in um, Bad Deals. The story is surrounding um, Joy and her journey through artistry as a female, a black female, um, you know, with predatory higher ups and execs and that type of thing. So I personally had experience with some of those situations. So it was so easy to tap into Joy. Okay. Did I handle it like Joy? Probably not. <laughs> But so Joy was the sweet, soft one. Yes. 
Mm. And yes. you was the one who gonna use some cussing, and it's gonna be some. Oh yeah, it might be some hands <laughs> throwing and everything. Yeah. Throw hands, okay. <laughs> yeah, and so I will say that this is very important because these things are real, and it just didn't start with Puff. No. Um, the media is putting light on something that has existed forever in the entertainment industry. Um, gatekeepers are real. Yes, they've yes. been gatekeepers in the industry ever since I've been knowing about the industry. I was privy to knowing people in the industry as a young person. So they would tell me stories of things that, that were uh, perpetrated against them or tried to be perpetrated against them. So this is a real situation. Come on. This is a real situation. And so people need to understand that this puffy thing is just shedding light on something that's a big, big issue, not just in music, but in film and entertainment. entertainment business, right? Yeah. It's always Across been gatekeepers. Board, yeah. Yeah. And you got to be board. careful. I would, I would say for any person that's, you know, any entertainment, any artist, any actress, any director, any producer that's stepping out there, when we're in desperate situations and you're trying to get somewhere and you've reached somebody that has more than you, has more influence, um, has more money, has more knowledge, you still hold your ground because you still have value. Never sell yourself. The first time you lay in your back for a job or a project, you'll be laying for the rest of your life. And that's important to know because it's facts. And so if you look at some of these industry people that's getting ready to get exposed, yeah. they came in in a way that it's a costly penalty. So that's why I always tell people, remember who pulled you up because they can also pull you down. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand what you're attaching yourself to. So now you get ready to see a lot of names come out um, uh, people you're going to be shocked to hear about are going to get exposed in this industry right now yeah. uh, in real time. And it's because they've been predators. Some of them been perpetrated on. Um, those kind of things are going on. So women definitely face it um, probably more than men. But we definitely but men face, men it, face it as well. They so do. you do have Sadly. to stand your ground. You have to know your worth and know that it's not based on one individual. No. Um, you can't want success so bad that you sell yourself short. And you got to be able to walk away. I mean, I, I know a lot of individuals that are scared to walk away. You feel like this not you're not going to miss your opportunity. It's the one in a lifetime opportunity. I know for actors, and especially for myself, you know, once you hit a, fer a certain age and you start feeling like you're going to be timing out, give yourself time because there's so much more to come and the right opportunity will present itself where you can hold on to your value and not have to look over your shoulder later on. Oh it's 20 God. years later that these people are going back to, like 20, yes. 30, 40 years later. Yes. So this is not last week or last Thursday that this popped off. Like this has been popping off and popping off. So um, we're running out of time and we can't get all the way into it, but I just want to say make sure this Saturday you guys are pulling up. Make sure you give them the, again. I'm going to be there. We're going to be there, y'all. Yes, indeed. Saturday, October 12th, 5 o'clock, 5 to 10 at the Novel. It's 2 I Street. You can get the tickets on Eventbrite, follow Bad Deals on IG, and we thank you for the support and the support of other black women keeping them safe. Yes, indeed. Thank y'all so, so you much. You want to end it? You, you want to wrap? I guess I can end it. Um, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, Joy. Saturday, October 12th. Make sure you pull up for a dual screen and a Bad Deals, and give me the loop. And you're going to be performing. I'm going to be performing, too. That's just a special treat. I wasn't yeah. going to tell you. Yeah. That's a bonus. <laughs> give me the loop bonus. and bad deals. Make give sure you pull loop. up this Saturday. Give me the loop, bad deals. Um, follow the link. Get the tickets. I'm looking forward to it. Show up. Pull up. Support, 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 support our filmmakers. Amazing deal. So thank you guys for being a part of Spotlight Over the City. We love you guys, and we will be there locked in. You already know we it We love y'all. Thank you. Hey, y'all give it up one more time. Bad yeah, deal. Bad, bad deal. deal. Bad Coming deal. Coming to a theater near you. Yes. Um, before we um go to our next commercial break, I want to just thank you, India, again, for being our faithful, loyal bar sponsor. Audience, anytime we, anytime quiet, quiet we call set. you, quiet on the set. you take on the set. three, four, five dates. And thank you so much. Much appreciated. So and then, Angela, I wanted to say... Oh, yes. Thank you to Angela for always, always, always coming through for us as well. All right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Make sure y'all follow her on, on IG. Make sure you are locked in with our bartender as well. The diva herself is in yes. the building. So make sure you guys are tipping, 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 and uh, we got to get out of here. During the we commercial break, we want y'all to turn your chairs around. Because we do have a closing artist. Or at least I'm tilt gonna... to the side. Or at least lean to the side. If you don't feel like moving your chair, just lean to the side so you can 
I don't want you to be an obstruct in the camera. I so, can't wait for y'all to meet her. She's an amazing young woman. Yes, and she's indeedy. got an, some amazing uh, vocals. And, you know, I want you all to support her stream of music. But I will allow her an opportunity to tell you all who she is and how you can support her musical journey. But Indeed. she's amazing. So we got to do that right now. So we run out of time. We got to get her on here. So we'll be right back with this commercial break. Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all good? Yeah. 